Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In my previous videos, I have already shown how you can make your own force feedback gaming setup, which include the analog pedals, force feedback steering hardware, and also the software configuration and connections for both. So in today's part four video, I'll be showing the complete steps for pedal shifters. First, I'll start with the hardware work. So considering my steering wheel, I have already proper place on both the arms to mount the shifters. Instead of using the normal push buttons, I have selected these type of limit switches. And we need two of them. The switches should be placed here. And for that, I'll be making my own mounting frames using this C channel aluminum piece. This is how the mounting clamps look and using some 3mm bolt nuts, I'll be mounting the switches on the clamps. Finally, this whole unit goes on the steering arms. I am using this drone propeller to design the shifter and this is how they look. Finally, we are done with all the hardware work and this is how it looks. Also, comment below how the shifters are looking. Moving further 
onto the circuit and the software. Here we don't need any additional software. As per our part 3 tutorial, we have completely shown the steps for software configuration along with the circuit diagram. So only thing here we need to do is connecting this switches to our Arduino board. So this is the circuit from EMC which I have already shown in my part 3 video. Here we have to concentrate mainly on this button matrix. This firmware supports up to 16 digital inputs or the switches. But for our application we need only two switches. So I'll be using this switch 1 and switch 2. You can directly follow this schematic and make your connections or else I have provided this simplified circuit diagram and you will also find the link in the description box. So considering the same circuit as reference, I will be doing the connections on my setup and additionally I will add this type of connector to make my shifters plug and play. Finally everything is done. If I open this EMC Lite desktop application, here we cannot see any interface to see the functionality of these buttons or the switches. Alternatively, we can verify that in the game controller settings. For that, you have to open control panel, view devices and printers and here we can see EMC. Right click, game controller settings and properties. This will give the information about all the access and the individual buttons which you can easily test. Everything looks fine. Let's also give it a try on the games.
that's all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any doubts let me know in the comment box below for all the sources the links are provided in the description box also in the coming days we'll be doing more and more add-ons to this setup stay tuned and also subscribe for more videos thank you for watching and i'll be back in another interesting one